Hi folks, we're back with the uh, triple dip uh, carbon felt uh, experiment and the third piece. I've put a third coat of titanium dioxide on it and uh, and soaked it in the zinc chloride microsers and now we're going to test that and see if the trend continues and we should get a maximum of, of around 14 or 15 milliamps. So we're going to put that on our piece of graph foil and flip our zinc plate on top of that. Actually, I think I'll slide that over and turn it around. putting the zinc plate on top of it to give it fairly even pressure and let's see what we got and we are showing 124 and this time we're climbing it was the last time we were losing voltage I think maybe so we've got 125 Two, we'll call it. And that's stable. Alright, we should have about three milliamps to start with. The last time was 2.4 or something like that. Alright, here we go. 3.1. Just about what I predicted. 3.1 milliamps. Alright, let's see what our self charge is doing. Ooh, I almost shorted it out again. Alright, we're at 94 and climbing fast. I can't remember if that's faster or slower than it was last time. But that looks pretty good though. Alright, I'll be back when it maxes out. I've got to keep the videos sh short. Okay, I'm back. And this time, as you can see, we're at 123.1 and it's still climbing but slowly and so it's going to get pretty close to the uh, original 125.2 uh, stable but it's going to take a it's going to take a few more minutes but we're going to test it at 123.5 Here we go. Twelve point three or five. That's considerably better. All right. So we're at uh, one point two three five and uh, twelve. We'll call it twelve point three. I don't can't remember if it's twelve point three or twelve point five. All right. Check the recharge here again real quick and then oh god damn I shorted it out again. Alright. 67 and climb 60 now 70 and climbing fast. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This time we're having a hard time getting much over 120. It's still going up slowly. I'm probably stopping a little bit earlier than I, I should have, but you can see it's still climbing. It probably hit 121 or something. So anyway, we're going to test it at 120.6. Okay. Here we go. 
15 point something. Alright. Alright, I'm back. This time we're at uh, 1.191 and it's still slowly climbing the course but I think we're pretty closer to where it's uh, going to be real slow. It's the last one tenth of a volt is the longest. Up to there it goes fairly quick. But okay, so we're at, we're going to test it at 1.193. through another discharge we've already caught the top and it's going to be more of the same we're going to do something uh, to change around here and do something different this is a another piece of carbon felt that I did this is a double dip but the difference in this one is that I uh, I dipped it in borax after I did the two double dips in the uh, titanium dioxide. That's it. And we have ah, look at there. It's charging up slow. We, that's real interesting right there. I say that because um, back when I was doing uh, crystal battery experiments with uh, paper cells. I uh, I got my best results when I completely encased the the borax in between two pieces of paper and then put my magnesium sulfate on one side and the potassium chloride on the, on the other. So I think uh, we'll try another experiment Alright, I'm back and I've reset up for another experiment. What I've done here is I've took a piece of the borax paper that I've dried and uh, I took uh, some half white glue and half distilled water, mixed it together, and then I coated both sides of the, of the paper to completely enc encase the, uh, the borax uh, in, in the paper. And then we're, now we're going to test this. Uh, like we did the other ones with just the uh, titanium dioxide and, and graphite and see how it performs. I suspect it might do better so we'll put our graphite on the graph foil. And we'll put our pieces separator on there and then take this on our metal and cool cold. Let's see what we got. And we are at 108.7 and we're slowly dropping. 108.7 and dropping. And here we have 80. Wasn't that 80? Okay. I'll 
be back. Alright, we're back to about 90.99 volts, 992, and it's still slowly climbing, but we're going to short it out right there, 994. back again and this time there's a little surprise look where our voltage is at we're back to the same voltage as we had last time and climbing and it actually made it back there a little faster I think than it did before and you can see it's still climbing uh, fairly it's slow but you can see it's still climbing up see it just hit 07 so let's try it at uh, 0.997 and see what we got. So as the amps go up again, I'm going to be real happy. Alright, here we go. 102, it went down. So we peaked it. 114, 102, and we were at 0.997. But this is interesting here because those were climbing and this was climbing faster. Okay, I'll be back. All right, I'm back, and I let this uh, I let this cell climb. Mess out of the way to see how high it would go, and I was almost ready to short it out, and I figured I better show you. So let's uh, then short it. I just let it climb, and look at it. It's, it's up to 106. 1.06 6 and you still see it's still climbing a little bit so I thought well hell let's short it out and uh, see what it's getting now all right we're on 200 milliamps and our amps are 128 yeehaw how about that there's a new record 128 they climbed up to that too and this was at uh, 1.065 alrighty I'll be back alright I'm back again now comparing our results from this these experiments here uh, you can see that the carbon felt experiment uh, led to a memory of an old uh, crystal battery experiment that led to uh, the improvement here in the thin film borax separator by encapsulating the whole thing and uh, we ended up uh, we had the best we had was 50 milliamps and we nearly tripled that and the real exciting part about the, this experiment here is that we got it up to 128 milliamps with no electrolyte just water so uh, you know why use electrolytes that dirty your cell up why not keep it real clean and uh, I'd rather just have a cell run on water than I would have it run on electrolyte if I can all right I was planning on uh, running four alkalinity tests next uh, but uh, these results here uh, have changed the plan a little bit and I have to run another uh, thin film um, separator test first and then run the alkalinity test so uh, oh one more thing uh, why don't you guys watch uh, Baca's thermal battery experiment I'll post the link in the uh, description box he pushes uh, the cell voltage up around 12 or 15 volts so check that out, please. I'll see you next time.